Beijing, China's legislature endorsed a national security law for Hong Kong on Thursday that has strained relations with the United States and Britain and prompted new protests in the territory. The National People's Congress approved the bill as it wrapped up an annual session that was held under intensive anti-coronavirus controls. The vote was 2, 878 to 1 with 6 abstentions, in line with the high-profile but largely ceremonial body's custom of near-unanimous support for all legal changes decided by the ruling Communist Party. The law will alter Hong Kong's mini-constitution, or basic law, to require the territory to enforce measures to be decided by the MPC's Standing Committee, a small body controlled by the ruling party that handles most lawmaking work. The law reflects the determination of President Xi Jinping's government to tighten control over Hong Kong following 11 months of anti-government protests. Activists in Hong Kong say the law will undermine the high degree of autonomy promised to the former British colony when it was handed back to China in 1997 under a one country, two systems framework and might be used to suppress political activity. Premier Li Keqiang, the country's no. Two leader, defended the law as consistent with Beijing's promises. The decision adopted by the NPC session is designed for steady implementation of one country, two systems and Hong Kong's long-term prosperity and stability, Li said at a news conference. The law and the way it is being enacted prompted U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on Wednesday to announce Washington will no longer treat Hong Kong as autonomous from Beijing. That could hurt the territory's attractiveness as a business center. Pompeo's notice adds Hong Kong to the Trump administration's conflicts with China over trade, technology, religious freedom, Chinese handling of the coronavirus pandemic and the status of Taiwan, the self-ruled island Beijing claims as its own territory. Li called for mutual respect and sino yu cooperation to promote extensive common interests in resolving global problems and promoting trade, science and other fields. Both countries stand to gain from cooperation and lose from confrontation, Lee said. On Thursday, three pro-democracy lawmakers were ejected from Hong Kong's legislative chamber during a debate over a bill that would criminalize insulting or abusing the Chinese national anthem. Also Thursday, the NPC approved a government budget that will increase spending to generate jobs to try to reverse an economic slump after Chinese industries were shut down to fight the coronavirus pandemic. Private sector analysts say as much as 30% of the urban workforce, or as many as 130 million people, lost their jobs at least temporarily during the shutdown. They say as many as 25 million jobs might be lost for good this year.